I see you admiring the non littles. Yeah. I guess they don't trust you with the real stuff, huh? No, they, they, they do, but uh, we, we choose I mean, what, what are you really guarding anyway? <laughs> Cell phone covers and Cinnabon? It's also three ATMs and a Dave and Buster's that just is off the hook after nine. It just gets crazy. Huh. By the way, as a professional courtesy, I'm happy to keep my eyes peeled for any irregularities while I'm here. So. Hey, closer. Hmm? Closer. Since I was named head of security five years ago, we have not had so much as a towel go missing. Your mother must be very proud of your accomplishments. Ooh, that got real. What a pleasure, man, being here in Miami, talking to Eduardo, <laughs> Paul Bart Malkoff, too. I mean, it's, it's a lot of great things, right? This is uh, too blessed to be stressed. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, man, thank you. Now, Paul, uh, Paul Bart's character is like this unlikely hero, which, hmm. which I, I want to talk about something that you, that you do, because you're, you're kind of a hero with this, this program, Let's Be Heroes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me like, what inspired you to, to do that program? And well, you know, uh, I think we are all called to be heroes, and this world needs more heroes. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, especially in the world that we're living right now, where it's a lot of you know, division, a lot of violence, a lot of fear, insecurities, uh, and that let, you know, leads you to, uh, the, you know, let you to uh, sadness and depression. And, and I'm convinced that art has the power to heal and to bring people together and to inspire people to do great things with their lives and to inspire people to love more and judge less, to, come, to, to forgive more and complain less, to, to do the right thing. And that's what makes you a hero. You know, when you, mm. use, your, when you use your talents uh, to contribute um, in a positive way so we can make that world a better place. And that's why I was inspired and I was moved and touched to start this um, uh, organization, nonprofit organization called Let's Be Heroes. And that's why when Kevin James called me, and he, uh, and he tells me, Eduardo, I'm, I'm doing Mall Cup 2. And as you know, this is about, a, about a, a, what does it mean to be an everyday hero? It's a comedy for the whole family. Mm -hmm. You're going to laugh hard, and I'm writing a role for you, brother, and I would love you to be involved. I want to just uh, honor the Latino community by having this, this uh, a hero in, 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 in my movie. And, and you're my brother. I want to help you, and you're going to be funny. I know this is going to be a new challenge for you. And, but I will guide you. And of course, having one of the best comedians in the world uh, yeah. being your coach 24 seven makes everything a little easier. <laughs> and, and their relationship must also, I mean, because I, I know that your other project, Little Boy, and yes. there's a lot of familiarity where you work with Roma and Mark Downey, you know, Roma Downey and Mark Burnett, and you also with Kevin James and David. Um, how is it like having that familiar settings and, and working with the same people on different projects? Is it a different feel because mm -hmm. it's a different movie or, or y have y'all developed like an off screen like kind mm -hmm. of connection? Well, you know, I'm an independent filmmaker and that means that you do everything outside of the system. And, and when I was working on my second production, Little Boy, of course, our hope is always to, uh, to make a masterpiece, you know, and, and to have a great cast. And, and I call Kevin and I say, brother, I would love you to be involved. You know, you're a hero to me, and this movie, Little Boy, I wanna, I wanna, you know, the cast. I want everyone to be a, a true hero in real life, and 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 even if it's just one or two scenes, will be, I will be honored. I will, I will be grateful forever. This right. is the script. He read the script. He was moved. He was touched. He said, "Brother, I love this story. Little Boy captures the heart and the soul of America, and it's an, a it's a universal story." Uh, I'm sorry. It's a, uh, I'm sorry. It's a universal story with a uh, an American story with a universal message mm -hmm. made by Mexicans, and I want to be part of this. Mm -hmm. And and then he he did the movie Little Boy. And after that, few months later, he calls me. He tells me, "Okay, now it's my my turn. Right. I'm writing this role for you. This is a big Sony, big su a studio movie, and and it's a comedy. And uh, and I'm just you know, it always helps when. It's always helpful when you're working with your friends that you admire, and, and, and Kevin not only is a hero in Paul Blart Mall Cup 2, because what Paul Blart does in the movie is always helping someone, always, you right. know, he's a family man, he's, a, he's, a, he's the everyday hero, that, that, that so many unknown heroes out there that we don't even know that, they, that exist, and they, they carry the planet, they carry the entire world right now in their hands, you know, in, mm -hmm. in, the, in their everyday actions, uh, uh, in the acts of kindness, kindness that they do for others without expecting anything in return. 
and and I want to be I want to be part of those projects. You know, that are designed to make this world a better place. And this comedy is not just a typical comedy where you go and and you leave the theater full of popcorn and soda and, and of course you laugh. But this is more than that. You you laugh hard, uh, but at the same time you're gonna live full of uh, you know hope and wanting to help others and wanting to be the hero that you're meant to be. Uh, I know the presidential election is coming up, and we have two possible Latino con c candidates with Ted Cruz and Mark Rubio, probably would be more. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the the topic of the, the a solution to the immigration problem would be realized in in the next several years, you know, being that, you mm -hmm. know, the, the ties seem, to, ties seem well, to be changing? I, I, I hope so. You know, I'm, I'm not a politician. I'm a filmmaker. And, uh, and you know, sometimes politics, uh, politics uh, divides and, and art can bring people together. So um, I want to be involved in movies that bring people together, especially to show the real face of Latinos, you know, that because, uh, of course, as a Mexican, you know, it breaks my heart when I see uh, that since the 40s until today, Latinos have been stereotyped in a very negative way. And, and, uh, and very few times you, you see uh, Latinos having the opportunity of being heroes, but not like Superman or Spider-Man, but the everyday hero, right. a man who come to this country to work really hard to provide for their families so they can have better opportunities. And especially the opportunities that this country offers where the sky is the limit, you know, the American dream, that's what makes this country so attractive. And this nation is such an amazing, you know, it's the greatest country in the world, and that's why everyone wants to come here, you know? Right. But uh, uh, the majority of Latinos who, are, who, who live in this country, we're more than 55 million Latinos, you know, are people that work really hard, are, are full of heroes, you know, men of character, men of integrity, you know, men of uh, uh, honest men, and, 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 and women, the Latino women, you know, they're, they're the heart of the family, they're full of wisdom, they're smart, they're beautiful. And as a filmmaker, my responsibility and my obligation is to, when I mean, you know, when I produce a film and Latino characters are there, I want to show the real face, the real heroes, and and that's how we end up. Um, that's how you influence how people think, uh, uh, um, so they can, uh, as you know, media influence how people think. And when you see, when you're exposed to uh, the negative stereotype only, uh, of course you're afraid and you think that all Latinos are what. What, what you're seeing, and that's why I made that promise mm. uh, more than 10 years ago that I will never use my talents again as a Mexican actor and producer. Uh, I will never use my talents again in anything that will offend my faith, my family, or my Latino culture. And I know the price sometimes is like you don't work, but it doesn't matter. It's not about compromising, it's about doing the right things, about working in projects that are designed to show mm. uh, uh, the best of human beings, not just Latinos, but in, you know. Uh, yeah. humans in general because at the end of the day we are all equal in dignity and we're all family and and uh, you know so hopefully we will have a, a more um, generous and comprehensive immigration you know uh, laws that yeah. are just for thank everyone you for your time. and thanks for a great movie thank you brother